today we are looking at a locomotion models souvenir wagon I want to call it and this is a Daffle one and the product code for this is 513944 and this is the third in the range so the product code on the website is LM003 they yeah, have done two more before this uh, one was a tanker and one was a box van this is the third one and this is um, like a dapple one and it is highly detailed I think I paid £15 for it so let's see how detailed it is and is it worth the money so here goes Starting off at the front of the truck or the back of the truck, depending on your preference. This does have a black buffer beam with plastic buffers. We also have a hook as well and there's also a mold line along the buffer beam. Moving on down, we do get the usual dapple coupling, uh, which is a roundish one instead of a square one or triangle-ish shape that the rest of the manufacturers do, but it does the job anyway. Also on the buffer beam, we also get some yellow bracing from the wagon itself. Moving on up, this is a five plank wagon, if I got this correct. And we do have a few rivets dotted around as well. And we have a wood effect, which is in yellow because it's painted yellow. Overall, it does look nice in this livery. As we move on to the side of the wagon, both sides of this wagon are exactly the same to me. I can't see any difference. Like I said, this is a five plank wagon with some of the detail parts picked out in the black. Yeah, it is molded, but it's, at least it's been picked out, that's the main thing. Delivery is yellow, like I said before. We also have the manufacturer of the wagon, shall we say, or the company that owns the wagon, which is the National Rail Museum. We also have the year, which this truck represents, and that is 2022 to 23. And we also have locomotion models with some other writing underneath that as well. On the sole bar, there's nothing on there, it's all moulded, there's no printing or anything like that. But moving on down, we do have some axle boxes and some metal wheels. And we also have a handbrake as well. There's not really much to look at, so I do apologise. And you can also see the coal load on top. As we do a bird's eye view on top of the wagon now. As you can tell, delivery is yellow, like I said before. You also get this coal load that's already put in there. The coal's a little chunky, but looks apart. Probably with a bit more weathering, it will look even better. You can't remove it by the looks of things I've tried and it won't come out, but at least they gave you cola, at least it's something different than an empty truck. So it doesn't look too bad in my opinion. And finally, as we move on to the underneath, look at this wagon. Yeah, it's plastic, the whole thing is plastic. I think there might be a weight in the coal load. We do have metal wheels. We don't have any detail as such, it's just molded on. That's why the wagon is so cheap. We also have the usual dapple couplings which are screwed in and they are very droopy. Um, they are very droopy, they don't really do what they're meant to do and when you try to couple up to other wagons, sometimes they don't play ball but that's the way Dapol is. So they okay on their locomotives, just not the um, wagons or rolling stock from my experience. We do have the making and where it was made. So next up, we'll see how it couples to other manufacturers. First one up is a Backman wagon. Not, not too bad. I don't think it's fully connected, but it's not too bad. Next up is a Hornby Alinear towed van. Let's see how it does, shall we? Again, it's missed the coupling completely. Uh, Dapple, that's how Dapple do it, and it does annoy me. So let's bring on the next manufacturer, shall we? So next up in this sort of challenge, shall we say, is a Dapple one, and this is another Locomotion Models one. This is the six-wheel tanker with the same coupling. Again, it's done it, but I'm not sure how good. It's pretty good, actually. Sometimes the Dapple ones uh, like repel each other, and it's a bit annoying. So let's see what the next manufacturer is, shall we? And the next manufacturer is this Rapid five plank wagon from the southeastern Chatham line. So let's see how this one does. Again, I don't know if you can see that. Again, it's missed the coupling completely. I don't know if it's the way they're made or just a dapple way. I don't know. But it's coupled just, I would say. And the next one in this challenge, or should I say the last one in this challenge, is Oxford Rail's Great Eastern 
van, ten ton van. No, it won't have it because the coupling's not correct. No, it still won't have it, and I don't know why. It just doesn't seem to like the Oxford Rail stuff. Uh, like I said, it sometimes does repel other manufacturers as well, even their own. So I don't know, this is the reason I don't like Dapple's coupling. Anyway, let's get on with the running session for this wagon, shall we? So yeah guys, that's the end of the running session. Before I give you my opinion on this wagon, I'll show you what it ran with, which was the National Railway Museum or the Rapido Sterling Single. A fantastic model. We also had the, I think it's the first one, which is there, it's just gonna focus, and then we have the second one, which is there, and then we had some other dapple stuff as well that it ran with. Uh, my opinion on this, apart from the coupling, it's not a bad, mo it's not a bad model, shall we say, it's pretty nice. The coupling did let it down, trying to couple all the dapple stuff up, it kept repelling them and the coupling kept going the opposite way. It was a bit of a nightmare, I wish dapple would sort that out. The price I paid for this was £15 with £7 postage, uh, which is a little cheaper than the other two. The other two were, I think, £25 with £7 postage, if you got that correct, which is a little steep in my opinion. I like to help out um, museums if I can and then we just go back to the museum. And collecting stuff like this is fun, it's different, it, it gives you more variety of um, stuff to run your trains with. Um, it could do with a little weathering I think with the coal is just coming down, it could do with a little weathering in my opinion. The underframe detail is another concern for me, well it's not, you're not going to see it when it goes round, you've got all these manufacturers that are doing highly detailed stuff underneath. Are you going to see it when it goes round? Not really. Uh, that's just my opinion. Uh, like I said, for £15 you're going to help the um, museum, which is Sheldon and the National Rail Museum, which is a good thing. Uh, I look forward to whatever else they bring out, if they ever bring out any more, number four in the collection, something like that. I don't know. But for me, it's it's a nice looking thing, it runs well, it's a little stiff when it wheels, if I'm honest with you, then most of my dapple stuff is a little stiff on wheels, it doesn't free wheel too, too good. Well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me your opinion on the review or the wagon yourself. Do you have one? And I will see you in the next one. So please take care. Goodbye. <laughs>